Hello friends! That was a weird wave! <laughs> Welcome back to TBR Cluedo, which is my TBR game themed off of Cluedo or Clue if you're a heathen. And um, we're gonna pick what I'm reading for May! Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna have some of the best reading months of the year in the summer. I just love summer. It makes me happy. I'm so excited to sit out in the garden on a blanket and read with the cats. Oh my god, they love when we're out in the garden. They're so obsessed with us when we're out in the garden. So that's just how I'm imagining my life. And I have just planned out all my videos up until the end of August and let me just tell you we've got some fire vlogs coming So I'm very excited to see if TBR Cluedo is kind to me if you're new here This is a TBR game We have rooms that are genres and then prompts and I have to read a book that fits that genre and that prompt Shall we just dive into it? Let's just get going. There's no need for preamble Let's just dive straight in and find out what I'm gonna be reading in May. Okay, roll number one we have got person number eight, which is blue over in contemporary. Oh my goodness, can we get the rose prompt? What square is the rose prompt on first? That's, it's on that one before I roll. Okay, let's see how many roll. Four and a six. Can I do that? I don't know if I can do that because that's one, two, three, four. Oh no, it is. Okay. <laughs> that is the rose prompt, which means it's a book one of my patrons has suggested. So, roll number one was the rose prompt, which means I have to pick. A book. I can't even shake them anymore. They're so tightly packed in here. Pick a book from this TBR jar. If you join my Patreon, you get to pick two books off of my TBR that you want me to read. And when we get the rose prompt, we pick one out of here. We've had loads of people join the Patreon recently, which I am so thankful for. I spoke about it in the Patreon Pick What I Read vlog. And so many of you have joined from that. And I cannot tell you what a big difference it makes. I actually posted a video on my Patreon yesterday about some changes that I'm making and some exciting projects that I want to achieve achieve this year and patron is really what has given me the power and the ability to take some risks there's some exciting projects coming this year but they are risks and I'm very excited to see what's going to come but um yeah so you can always join my patron if you want to have a little sneak peek of some of the projects I'm hoping to achieve this year I've gotten really close to my end of year um goal for patron which I mentioned in that video I am so thankful for support on that honestly I spoke about it in that video we don't need to talk about it again but the support that you can give your favorite creators on patreon is or youtube membership anything like that I cannot tell you what a difference it makes honestly and I'm having so much fun with the content we're creating over there so we've got a lot of new books um <laughs> like I can't even get into the jar I'm gonna try oh man down we lost one okay I've got something am I gonna have to get a bigger jar than this like how I mean if it's bigger than this it's feeling a little bit excessive so let's see what we're gonna read let's see hopefully it's gonna be a book I have not yet read and let's see what it is <gasps> Sorry, I don't want to curse, but <laughs> that is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. Oh my god, let's find out who picked that first. I reckon there's going to be quite a few of them. Eight people who have picked it by the looks of it. So Ava picked it, Amy picked it, Jenny picked it, Alice picked it. Who is that? Nicole picked it. I'm struggling to align them in my... <laughs> Alison picked it and... Abby picked it. Wow. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I've finally been forced into reading this. This is like a five star prediction. I think it is. In my, I have forgotten what's in that most recent five star prediction video because I try and forget so that then I can react to them. But I think I put this in there. I'm following a young girl who is half indigenous, half not. And so she's always felt like an outsider. Um, and I think she doesn't live on the indigenous reservation. She kind of lives in her hometown nearby. But she witnesses a shocking murder and relies reluctantly agrees to be part of a covert FBI operation into a series of drug related deaths. I have heard such wonderful things about this. Oh my gosh guys, thank you for picking that. This is such a good pick. I think I'm going to love this. I think it's going to be very emotionally heavy hitting. I don't know if I'm quite prepared for it, but Angeline Booley is just one of those authors I feel like I'm drawn to. I really want to read Warrior Girl Unearthed as well. And I feel like there's just authors that you can tell that you're going to vibe with. I've heard wonderful things about the writing in this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my God, Jesus Christ. Check out They've the blessed me. <laughs> What a wonderful rose prompt pick because this is the kind of book that I have put off for years and years and years And so this is kind of what the rose prompt is made for like making me read books that like I should have 
<laughs> got to some time ago. So thank you to everyone who picked that. I am so, I am so happy. Wow, I'm gonna have to read this soon. What a great choice. What a wonderful choice. What a great start to our May TBR. Okay, roll number two. Person number seven, which is brown up here in mystery. Let's see how many we roll. Oh my gosh. We've got a four and a one. Let's go one, two, three, four. That is number 24, which is a book I have never seen on booktube. Roll number two was a mystery that I have never seen on booktube. And we're going from a book that is like a five star prediction to a book that's maybe like a two star prediction. And you might be like, Megan, why are you reading it? I'm reading it for a video, okay? And it's a book I've owned for quite some time. It's The Cat Who Caught a Killer by L.T. Shearer. And you might be thinking, Megan, that sounds like exactly your favorite thing, but let me explain. So it is about a cat. <laughs> who catches a killer. So it is like a cozy mystery, but a cat, I think, plays <laughs> an important role. There's like a detective and the cat is helping her. So based on that, look at the paw prints. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Based on that, I should love this, right? I should love this. This is like the perfect book for me. A cat who catches a killer, excuse me. Absolutely, do you know what I mean? Like this should be my favorite thing. However, I've heard mixed things about this author's political opinions and how much they bleed into this book and that's what makes me nervous. I think, I don't wanna, let me not libel, but I can't remember exactly, but let's just say like maybe a bit anti-vax, maybe a bit like Trumpy, I don't know. I've heard not the greatest things about the political opinions in this book. So that's why I say I might not love it because that's gonna piss me off. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna enjoy that aspect of the book, but this sounds like the perfect crime cozy for me in terms of the synopsis So we shall see how this goes I'm reading it for a video towards the end of the month where I have to read it. It wasn't a choice in the matter I have to read it. So we shall see. We shall see how it goes I'm excited about the premise not so excited about some of the things I've heard in reviews But let's just read it and see what we think Roll number three Person number six over in Thriller Let's see how many we roll. Oh my gosh, we've got a four and a five. Let's go. What can I get to in that? One, two, three, four, five. That is number 27, which is a book that has a, the, and, or of in the title. Roll number three was a thriller that has a, the, and, or of in the title. I'm going to have to check on what words that is. And I am going with. Deep breaths, everyone. We've got some great books on this TBR. I am going with the last word by Taylor Adams. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay <laughs> calm. Wait, 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 wait. So this is like probably another five star prediction. We've got like a lot of good books on this TBR, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a pretty fucking good TBR. The last word by Taylor Adams is a thriller where a woman leaves a negative review of a book, and the author seems to be hunting her down and like. It's hitting a little bit close to home. <laughs> what author? No, I was gonna say what author do I think would be most likely to do that for me to a negative for a negative review, but let me not go there. Let's not go there. I have many of you know I think that no Sit by Taylor Adams is the ultimate thriller. Like for me, if I have to recommend like a beginner thriller to someone or a thriller that I just think perfects the genre, it is no exit. However, Taylor Adams' last release was Hairpin Bridge, which was a bit of a weird release because I think it was like indie published or like, I don't know, this is his first like big release since no exit, but Hairpin Bridge was really bad. <laughs> it was not good. I really hated Hairpin Bridge. So that does make me a little bit nervous going into this. But I just think Hepburn Bridge, I feel like my mum had a conspiracy theory that it was like written before No Exit and was kind of like the precursor to No Exit and then like delayed publishing and whatever. Like the publishing industry is weird. I'm very excited to be reading No Exit. I think I'm going to love it. Um, but I'm nervous. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. I've heard great things about it and I think this is going to be a very interesting premise. I cannot wait to pick it up. Roll number four. Person number four, which is pink over here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a two and a three. I am going to go one, two. That is number 10, which is a book not set in the UK. Interesting. Role number three was a horror that is not set in the UK. And this is the one I gave to my patrons to vote on. They vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month. And that ends up being our book club picks. So they're not just voting for me. They're voting for what they want to read. And let me tell you the choices I gave them. One sec. 
So, the choices I gave them on this poll were Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant, aka Sean Maguire, which is set, I believe, in the Mariana's Trench. Silver Nitrate by Silver Moreno Garcia, which is set in Mexico. The Book of the Most Precious Substance by Sarah Grand, which is set in the US, France, and Germany. And White Horse by Erica T. Worth, which follows an indigenous main character in the US. And the winner, by quite a strong margin, was Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. I think this is gonna be a great great book club book. I have heard such good things about this. So this is about seven years ago, a ship set off on a voyage to the Maros Trench to film a mockumentary bringing to life ancient sea creatures of legend. It was lost at sea. Everyone died. Everyone on this boat died. And now a new crew has been assembled to investigate and they'll discover whatever went down there is definitely no joke. I'm very much excited for this because it's Shauna Maguire, baby. It's Shauna Maguire, one of my favorite authors. And I've never read anything by her Mira Grant pen name, which is like her horror pen name. And I'm very intrigued to see how she writes horror. Obviously, I've only really read her fantasy. I've only really read Way of Children and Middle Game from her. So I'm excited to see this different take, a horror set underwater. <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. It's what we wanted all along. I'm quaking in my boots. I'm quaking in my boots. I am so excited. I think it's also going to be a really good book club pick. I feel like we're going to have some good discussions on this, but I... Oh my god, it like it's making me feel like claustrophobic, just the thought of this already. I think it's gonna be such a good book. I'm really, really excited. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get to this. I've owned this for quite a while. But I'm excited to get into some horror. I'm excited to read this in my book club, and I'm excited to read Mira Grant, baby. I'm excited to read some Sean McGuire that I've never like I've never seen her before. So if you would like to read this with us, we have a discussion section on the Discord, and then we do a discussion live show, and then I do an exclusive reading vlog for this as well. So you won't see this on any vlog on my channel. You can join the Patreon join the wonderful community that's there. It truly is the best place on the internet. I am not biased. <laughs> but I did tell a bit of a lie there. Anyways, super excited to read this. I think this was a wonderful pick by the voters. Sometimes I don't agree with their voting and I'm like, why the fuck did you pick that one? But this time I think this was the best pick. Roll number five, person number three, which is red up here in historical. Let's see what we roll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know, where was that? That was that, okay. We've got a three and a five. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five. That is number five, which is, oh, a 2024 release. Next was a historical that is a 2024 release. And guys, I told you the next two books, impeccable. Absolutely in fucking impeccable. <laughs> we are gonna be reading The Warm Hands of Ghosts by Catherine motherfucking Arden. I don't know, I keep like bouncing like a toddler today. I'm just so excited. You know like when toddlers dance, they just kind of like, you can't see my legs, but just, I think you can imagine what I'm doing there. They just bounce like this. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> like toddler dancing. This is another five star prediction. We're, we're getting a bit crazy at five star predictions guys. It's not over yet. But wow, what a moment. I will never forget. This is Catherine Arden's new release. I am so, so, I'm nervous, but I'm very, 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 very excited for this. Um, we're following two siblings in World War One who have been torn apart by the war. One is a soldier and one is a nurse. And that's all I think I really need to know about it. I have heard mixed things. I keep saying, from people who've read this, I either see them say, pretty much, there's some, you know, I'm exaggerating here, but I feel like people are either like, it is the greatest work of fiction ever to have been written ever in the world, or I didn't really get it. Like, it's polarizing a little bit, but I'm very excited to see where I fall on the line. I think it's gonna be very very different to the Winter Night trilogy. I am not expecting it to be like the Bear and the Nightingale. I'm expecting the writing to be very different, but I just love Catherine Arden's mind. I just, I just am so excited for all the years to come we've got of Catherine Arden books. Like I just, oh, there's some authors that you just like, ugh, like I just love, I love what she's doing. I love her choices. I love her career. I love you, Catherine Arden. <laughs> love you. I've got a beautiful edition. Look at this guys. God. Oh, I'm so excited. And the spread edges. Oh, I'm so excited to read it. I can't wait. It's gonna be five star. It's gonna be five star. I'm speaking it into the universe. I cannot wait to experience this back. And time for the final roll. Person number one, which is green over in fantasy. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a four and a three. I am going to go one, two, three. That is number 20. What is that? That is, oh, a five star prediction. Okay, fun. 
And then the final roll was a fantasy that is a five star prediction. I told you guys we weren't done with five star predictions yet. This is crazy. Obviously, I knew there were two on here, but I wasn't expecting Fire Keep as well. I might read that whole the whole book, that video was super quick. We may end up, like, my first five star predictions took me like two years to read. We may end up reading these in like three months. But the book I have chosen is Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Bowdry. Am I shitting bricks to read this? Yes. It's got to get a sip of water. I feel nervous about this. Did I put, wait, did I put this on the video? I can't remember if I did or not. I think I did. <laughs> Again, I tell you, I forgot it. This is a prequel to Legends and Lattes. Viv is still in her like fighting days or like, what's the word? Is there a word for it? Renowned mercenary company. Okay. Um, but she's been wounded during the hunt for a powerful necromancer. So she's like, she's trying to like relax, rest. And she goes to this struggling bookshop and there's a big mouse and there's a fucking owl dog creature. I'm so excited. I keep saying, no one does cozy fantasy at Travis Bowdry. The girlies keep trying. They keep trying and they keep failing, in my opinion. Every cozy fantasy I've read doesn't give me the feelings that Legends and Lattes gave me. I could have read 2,000 pages of Legends and Lattes and them just making coffees and being deadly serious. Like, that is the safest I've ever felt in my entire life. So, I'm very excited. I'm nervous, but I'm feeling good about uh, Bookshops and Bone Dust. I'm feeling good about it. I'm very excited. And I'm actually going to be reading this next. I'm going to be reading this today, <laughs> probably. So I'm really, really excited to dive into it. And hopefully, you know, it lives up to <laughs> what we're hoping it will achieve. So there we have it, friends. I'm not holding up very well. <laughs> there is our May uh, TBR Cluedo selection. I think this is an incredible TBR. I think this is an absolutely insane TBR. The reading gods have blessed me. May is gonna be one of my best <laughs> reading months ever to exist. I am so excited. So please let me know what you thought of any of these books. I simply cannot wait <laughs> to read some of these. And um, if you've gone to the end of the video, comment, what should we comment? Comment like a skull or bone emoji because there's bones on the cover of Bookshops and Bone Dust. Or a seashell, there's seashells. That's interesting. Oh, there's gonna be a beachside town. <gasps> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what some of the books you're hoping to get to in May are, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!